Hello, I'm here to talk to you about low intensity vibration and how it differs from a whole body vibration plate and why I chose the low intensity vibration. My name is Janet Van Wyck. I have founded the Ageless and Amazing Project where I take you on my journey of being ageless and amazing, introducing you to my health concerns and things that I have discovered along the way. After I was diagnosed with osteoporosis, I was frantic trying to figure out what the heck was I going to do because I naturally do not choose the pharmaceutical path. I like to try and do things naturally for as long as possible in order to see if I can turn it around or make it better. My first instinct was to go back to whole body vibration because I had read and I had seen some place that said we help with bone density. So I jumped in and I bought myself one. And I discovered that it isn't necessarily all that it is made out to be when it comes to dealing with osteoporosis, when it comes to dealing with muscle loss, which is something that we deal with when we are postmenopausal. What was the problem? The problem was that a whole body vibration machine is mechanical. It has programs and intensities that are set and you choose from those programs. It doesn't matter what's going on in your body. That's what it does. Whole body vibration machines also have a long, a long list of contraindications ranging from diabetes or arthritis or if you have any pacemakers or if you have knee replacements or if you have osteoporosis. And those are the same as the whole body vibration plates that claim to have a setting that will help you to increase your bone density. Once I came up against that, I started to researched a little bit and discovered that low intensity vibration is a very, very different thing. Low intensity vibration actually is set with specific hertz and gravitational pull and with the ability to adjust to your weight and your positioning and your posture. Yes, there's a price difference between the two, but that's what you get for something that may or may not be safe for you if you do or do not know what's going on in your body and one that is an electronic intelligent machine that constantly, constantly is recalibrating and adjusting to you. So the one I chose is this Marodyne LIV, which stands for Low Intensity Vibration Plate. It, this essentially is my unboxing. It came in a very sturdy box inside this heavy duty bag. When you open it up, it has a document pocket that is secure along with padded case so that you can take this along with you whether you're going on vacation or you travel for work or whatever it is. Now you're saying how could I possibly take it with me? Those things are so heavy. And yes I agree a whole body vibration machine is very heavy. It's very big and they are around 45 to 60 pounds. I couldn't manage it. I had a heck of a time with it. The low intensity vibration plate is like a scale, an enhanced scale it's 18 pounds, very manageable, easy to pick up and carry with you, easy to put into the bag and take with you regardless where you are going. Now since I have it up here, I'm just going to zoom in and show that here is the receptacle for the power and there is your on and off switch. As you are using it, you are going to be able to access that very easily and I'm just going to set this up so I can show you in a minute. So why did I stay away from whole body vibration? When I got on the machine, because it is pre-selected, pre-programmed, programs at different intensities, this is the way it works. Or it works this way. Or it works this way. Or they combine. But what it's doing is it's throwing your body back and forth. And yes, really good pre-menopausal if you don't have any um, issues inside. It does tackle your cellulite. It does help to tone muscle. You do do exercises while on it so that you increase the intensity of the contraction of your muscles. Very different from a low intensity vibration plate. Low intensity vibration plates are not there to reduce your cellulite. They're not there to help you lose weight. They're not there for other more physical reasons. It is in Canada classified as a class two medical device and it has very specific functions. When we are postmenopausal, we are losing our, our muscle mass. We are losing our bone mass. It's measurable and it happens to everybody at different stages, at different degrees of depletion. Now, 
when we are taking a look at tackling that, there are naturally you are going to have many different approaches that you are use, using from your proper nutrition to the supplements that you are taking and you are going to have to implement some kind of weight bearing exercise to build those muscles and walking or rebounding to get the the impact exercises on you but something that is really important to understand is that if you have a low intensity vibration plate that is I'm going to say humming at the right Hertz which is 30 Hertz and at the right a gravitational pull and I will explain that in videos to come you are actually impacting your body at the stem cell level your mesenchymal cells they have very particular function it's kind of a, a multifunction cell where it gets to choose whether it's going to go to osteoblasts which is what we are losing postmenopausally because of our reduced estrogen it gets to choose to whether it's going to go to the production of muscle which again we are losing postmenopausally but more importantly fat cells within your bone what happens when we go postmenopausal it's like the gas tank it goes more to the fat as opposed to the muscle and the bone through the action of this 10 minute sessions per day or you can go multiple sessions you are actually impacting the mesenchymal cells it is encouraging it to make smarter choices and choose osteoblasts and muscles as opposed to the fat. If it's reducing the fat that's being produced, then it's going to change the structure within your body. You're going to be able to make sure that the weight-bearing exercises that you are performing are going to be supported by your stem cells, which are going to say, okay, I recognize you're exercising me. Let's now make the choice to go into muscle. We know that muscle stresses bone and when the bone receives that stress, it encourages it to react and become more dense. And then when you also have your stem cells going, oh yes, let's put some into osteoblasts, that also increases the, the state that your bones are going to be in and you improves your overall efforts in the area of trying to increase your bone density. So how easy is this to use? It's as easy as stepping on a scale. Now, you can leave this turned on 24-7, and if you do do that, please make sure that you use a surge protector because this is an expensive, smart, very intelligent piece of equipment, and you want to make sure that there are no spikes that are going to burn the brain out of your plate. Now, you don't need to put any rubber mat down you only need to make sure that the surface is flat. It does not have hard rumblings. It's not really loud. You can work and be on the phone while you are on the plate and you can actually talk while you're on the plate with minimal vibration coming through. When you are turning it on, remember, bend smartly, either hip hinge or hip hinge and squat. You do not have to go all the way. It tips up very easily. You can turn it on here and once it turns on it's going to go through an initialization process on the face of the scale you're going to see three sets of feet one set here one set here and one set here and it will go around and initialize to that then start the secondary initialization it'll say go and when it's finished it'll say end and that's when you're ready to get on now what good are these um, graphics of the feet. When you are on, it's going to tell you, are you positioned correctly? If you are too far over on one side or the other, they are going to light up. If you're too far forward, it will light up. And if you're too far back, this will light up. It helps you to make sure that you are positioned properly. Secondly, you want to make sure that your posture is really good. When you get on the plate, most of us are going to find ourselves now we're beginning to have a posture problem from age and from reading our texts we need to be doing exercises to correct our posture but in our effort to correct our posture when we are on our plate posture is really important you want the hips to be lined up over the spine over the shoulder you want our neck in line as well so that when you are feeling the vibration coming up you are feeling it also in your jaw 
as well as I find I feel it forward into my cheekbones and through my sinuses and I feel it here. That's how I know when I am set up properly. So you just step on, take the reading, make sure that you're positioned, you're not leaning forward or back. Make sure that your posture is correct. And from here, it's just waiting for the 10 minutes to go. You're counting down with the machine. Now, if, some, if the phone rings or you have to get off and you step off the machine, this is a smart machine. It will go into interruption mode. It will stay after five seconds. It will pause, gives you five minutes to get back into the same session. That's a really smart idea. Now, the one question I get asked a lot is, like a whole body vibration machine, can I do exercises? I know that when I'm on my whole body machine, if I get down and I do squats, it really exercises my quads and my calves. And if I do this or that, it double exercises because it's increasing the, the contraction of my muscle. The whole body vibration machine is a completely different machine with a different set of goals. This one is making sure it's sending the right vibration, the right hertz, the right gravity, everything up your spine, through your hips, up your spine, and all the way up to, to initiate the actions within your body to get down to that stem cell level to make the changes that are needing to be happen in order to hopefully increase the muscle and the osteoblasts and increase your bone and muscle health to help with your circulation to to help clean your lymph it's really good for that because of the the vibration action so no you don't want to be doing all kinds of interesting things on there you just want to get on there you want to stand properly maybe focus on your posture it's a good time to do that turn on the tv put a book on an audio book on maybe call somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while and put them on speakerphone and just get through that session so how many sessions? A day. Well, I want you to remember that this is one piece of your whole regime that you're setting up to get your, your bones and your muscles healthy again. It's one part in conjunction with your nutrition and your supplementation and your weight bearing exercises and your impact exercises. This will give you a full plan to fight it. The book suggests one session a day, 10 minutes long. And that, I would say, would be your minimum. My experience and information that I have discovered through doing my research is if you're going to do a second session, make sure it is two to three hours later because there is a refractory period that your body needs to go through where you won't realize any benefit before that because the body has to relax, it has to repair, it has to go through certain processes. After three hours, jump on and do it again. You can do it three times. I wouldn't go over three times a day. Now, how can I use this in conjunction with other exercises that I'm doing? And that's a really good question. Do your vibration therapy just before you do anything else, just before you get on your rebounder, just before you go for your walk, just before you go and do your weight bearing exercises, just before you do your yoga, just before you go biking, whatever it is you're doing. This will increase the impact that the next exercise that you're doing is going to have and it's going to give you enhanced results. But remember, you have many tools in your tool bag for osteoporosis and for postmenopausal health. Postmenopausal being ageless and amazing, that's your new full-time job. We spent the first half of our life in a full-time job outside the home or raising kids, focusing on other people, and this declined as a result. Second half of our life is this is our full-time job, and we are working to gain back some of the health that we have lost and making sure that we are staving off the period of morbidity in our life where we are bedridden or we are in pain or we are immobile. I mean, if I'm going to live to be 100, I don't want to become so pain-ridden and disabled because of the limitations that I have at 80 that 20 years are spent in less than prime life. I want that period of morbidity to be just a few months or a year before I 
I'm thinking about seeing the end of my life. This is what this effort is all about. So let's stay ageless and amazing, healthy, vibrant, and most of all, positive and happy. I will be dropping more videos about vibration therapy because to me, it is so interesting. The science behind it is so interesting. Some will be very specific to this plate and some will be just general information that I've discovered about vibration therapy. I hope that you'll join. Please like and subscribe. Go check out some of the other videos that I have. It really does make a difference. And thank you for joining me.